Apparently, some people have not been too happy about me advertising for tarantula cribs lately. My past couple of videos have been rehousing videos where I've rehoused a tarantula into a brand new tarantula cribs enclosure, all the while advertising that enclosure. I get it, you didn't come here to get a sales pitch for a particular brand of enclosure, you came here to see tarantulas. I try to keep it as interesting and educational as possible by showing you how I set up that enclosure, what I put in it, and showing you the rehousing itself. A lot of people take interest in the rehousing because some people have difficulty rehousing a tarantula or they've never done it before, so they like to see how it's done, especially when it comes to a cantankerous species. And I always top it off with giving you a close-up of the tarantula, showing you the tarantula in the enclosure, and just giving you some general eye candy on that particular species. So forgive me for advertising to you, but please keep in mind that I am an affiliate for Tarantula Cribs because I believe they have a high quality product and I fully stand behind them. And keep in mind that I will be receiving Tarantula Cribs from time to time, especially if a new one comes out, and I will advertise it then just like I do now, and I will put another Tarantula inside one. But that doesn't usually happen too frequently. In fact, it's been a while since I've received anything from Tarantula Cribs. The only reason I've gotten so many at one time right now is because of Animal Con, and I'm setting up several of them to take with me to Animal Con. So this gives me an opportunity to have content to make videos about and set up an enclosure and show your tarantula at the same time. So having said that, here's a brand new never before seen Tarantula Cribs enclosure that I'm gonna set up and rehouse my Lassiodora Parahibana in. Hello tarantula lovers, I'm Alex and welcome back to Tarantula Haven. <laughs> Sorry about all that. I honestly was not planning on doing another rehousing video with another tarantula cribs enclosure, but I really didn't know that I had this enclosure. Mo of tarantula cribs contacted me and he wanted to know if I could send him a picture of this enclosure set up. And I told him I don't have that, that enclosure. And he said, well, look and see what you have. Cause he had sent me two packages or two, two deliveries. And um, I had gotten one and it was all enclosures and everything. And then I'd gotten a second one, but he told me that there were some aquariums inside that he was sending to Brian. So I thought that the other package had aquariums. I did open it and I looked inside and it looked like glass from, you know, from the inspection, but it was all covered in bubble wrap and everything. So I honestly didn't know what it was. I just assume that those were the aquariums for Brian. So he told me, look in that other package with the aquariums, it's probably in there and it's got the aquariums in it. So I did and sure enough, there it was. And, and I was really shocked because it's a huge enclosure and um, I didn't really <laughs> realize that it was inside there. So I am excited about it. It is something that's really cool. This is kind of an unveiling because this is a product that is not available yet and he has not announced yet. So um, I'm kind of unveiling it for him and it's a very large enclosure. This is the extra large terrestrial. So this is the partner to the extra large arboreal. This is an extra large terrestrial and um, the design of it is different from the sliders. So I'm pretty happy to show you that. And I am rehousing my Lassiodora Parahibana in it because I do have her in, I think it's like a 10 gallon aquarium. I'm pretty sure it is. And um, I had it all set up nice and everything, but I kind of let it go and the plants have died and one of them's still alive, but it's you know looking pretty sad. So I'm happy to set her up in this enclosure because it's large enough for her. And she's a huge specimen and she's She's a very impressive specimen that I would love to take to Animal Con for people to see. So let's go ahead and set this up and get her in there. So a little bit about the enclosure first. This is a 12 by 12 by 18 enclosure made of the same beautiful acrylic that tarantula cribs are made of. And um, this is a little bit of a redesign on the terrestrial models that they had before, before they had the sliders. I think they still have the sliders. And in my opinion, this is a better uh, design because this doesn't have a sliding lid. This has a flip top lid with the four neodymium magnets on the top, very similar to the um, cube enclosures. And and I think that is a better design because you don't have to worry about scratching. Sometimes those lids, if you have a moisture dependent species, they would get a little bit tight because they'd warp just slightly and they'd get tight moving on the slider, which of course contributes to scratching and things like that. So you don't have to worry about this because this just pops off and there's no rubbing or on anything and there's no scratching. And of course, 
because of the four neodymium magnets, that kind of keeps everything nice and straight and, and helps it to keep from warping. But you don't have to really worry about that with this enclosure because this lid is made from that moisture and warp resistant acrylic. So that is a bonus feature right there. And this is just a beautiful enclosure. I'm glad they've come up with something large like this and I can't wait to get my LP in there. Big Bertha is gonna be really happy. I definitely want to keep plants in this, so I'm going to start out with a drainage layer. Put down some clay balls. Just had a little bit of this screen mesh left, but it was, looks like it's just enough. Very cool. It looks like I'm going to have to mix up some more of this isopod soil because I'm probably going to use it all up. Now I'm going to top it off with some repti soil. Next, I'll add a couple of plants. I saved some silver baby tears from another enclosure. I like using this stuff. It makes a nice carpet cover on the ground, on the substrate. I like how it crawls around and stretches around. So I'll put it kind of all over. This stuff will spread around and grow like crazy. It doesn't really matter if I bury it a little bit, it'll poke right through this soil after a while. And been saving this to use on something. I think I finally found what I wanted to use it on. Use it on there. This Triceratops skull. I think it just looks cool. Throw a little bit more repti soil on here. Bury that top a little bit. A lot of this stuff gets packed down after a while, so it's okay to go a little bit extra with it. And to top everything off, a little bit of leaf litter. Time to put her in. Here's her old enclosure. You see all the plants have dried out and died. Except for this one, it's still alive, but it's looking terrible. And I think she hid underneath her little hide there. All right, so there she is. And she is angry. Come on out. There you go. She's probably hungry. She's recently molted. So I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. Probably going to have to use a catch cut. Sometimes she likes to crawl up the side of the enclosure. Maybe I can get her to come up. I always want to handle her. Oh, but those fangs are so scary. You can see how big they are. Oof, no. <laughs> 
All right, yeah, let's definitely use a catch cut for this. She is being very ornery. So I'll just cut her like that. Catch cut makes things so much easier. All right, so now that she's cupped, this should be easy. Oh, she is heavy. You can see how big she is in comparison to my hand. Come on, girl. <laughs> she wants to climb right back up. Oh no, she's kicking hairs. Please don't. Look, all you gotta do is step back. Just step back. Come on, there you go. There you go. See, that wasn't so bad. You don't have to kick or nothing. Gosh, she's so big. Uh oh, she's coming up to the top. So what do you think of the extra large terrestrial enclosure? I think it's awesome. I think it's perfect for Big Bertha. I think she's gonna absolutely love it. She's gonna explore around here. She will web up quite a bit. And if you saw from the other enclosure, she just lays down webbing everywhere. So it's gonna be kind of a chore to make sure I keep things clean in there as far as like the viewing areas of the glass and so on, because they tend to web wherever they go and they do wander quite a bit. So um, yeah, this is gonna be a big attraction at Animal Con because a lot of people are, just love looking at big tarantulas. And she's going to be out on display pretty much all the time. So if you're there, come check her out and say hi. That does it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I promise you the next video will not be a plug for another Tarantula Cribs enclosure. But if you are interested in getting your own Tarantula Cribs enclosure, you can do so at tarantulacribs.com and you can get 10% off your order if you use the discount code THAVEN10. If you plan on attending Animal Con, I hope to see you there. Stop by and say hi and take a look at Big Bertha at the Tarantula Cribs booth. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support this channel, I have a Teespring store where I sell Tarantula Haven merchandise. Until next time, keep loving them tarantulas. <laughs>